What's Hello. up? This is Ed. Hi, I'm Edmund. This is Dave. I'm Dave. Uh, we're in a band called Glass Animals, and we're here to to play Firefly Festival. It's going to be fun. Live music is incredibly important to us. We uh, we kind of treat it as an opportunity to to kind of give a different version of the recording. You know, the recordings on record you just, it's just one version of a song um, some some people might think it's a definitive version but I I don't really I don't know it's it's fun to, to give a different interpretation live you can make things heavier you can jam things out a bit you can vibe off the crowd if the crowd are feeling really chill you can play a really ambient version if they're all you know on uppers um, you can play a faster upbeat version turn the kick drum up turn the bass up and have fun with it remix it um, it's your chance to show a different side of the music a bit. Um, yeah, the second album is called How to Be a Human Being. Title ca- well, each, each song on the record is a different story about a different person. And it came from, we were touring a lot, meeting lots of people. Like, you meet so many people when you're touring. And we, I started recording all these stories people were telling me on my phone, just recording all the audio. And I listened back to it all and kind of eventually realized that I could sort of relate to all these stories a little bit myself. Be it, like sometimes they were disgusting, sometimes they were really sleazy, sometimes they were hilarious, sometimes really sad. And like a little piece of you can relate to all of these different people who have very different tales. And um, I guess, yeah, what I took away is that there's no right way. It sounds a bit cheesy, but <laughs> there's no right way to be a human. Everyone's leading these really different lives, but they're things that bring them all together and make them people. The Erica Badu cover that we did is actually it's a cross between yeah. Erica Badu and Yeah Yeah Yeahs, and Karen O is one of my favourite front people of all time, and there was a lot going on about like women in the music industry and um, not enough women being on festival lineups and things like that. So it was like I was sitting there and I was like, the, the, these two like total badasses. Let's see if. Let's mash it up and pay our respects to the like two of my favorite people in music, who are, are women. I think it's changed a lot. It's changed so yeah. much our live <laughs> performance. We we didn't really know what we were doing when no. we started. None of us had ever done any music before, or like been in bands or anything. Yeah, we were yeah. totally clueless. So we got on stage and we looked like incredibly nervous. Rabbits in the headlights. Yeah, we were just really shy, trying to play the songs like totally perfectly as they were recorded, like no mistakes, just like clinical. But then, then we did South by Southwest, didn't we? Yeah, that was the start of that realizing start that of you chaos. just can't, you can't win. <laughs> Basically, you go to South by Southwest, you're playing nine shows in four days. No one really, it's gonna sound like garbage. You have five minutes to throw your stuff on stage and then start playing. It's gonna sound terrible. So, it, you know, you just have to like embrace the chaos and learn to have fun despite the fact that it's a mess. I normally say take your time. Don't r- people people always try to rush it. And obviously when we were starting out I was I was always like come on let's yeah. you know want to go faster but um, it doesn't matter in the end. If you if you work hard you'll yeah, you'll get there.